All right, great. All right, my name is Frank Distel. I'm one of the chief residents at Penn. Uh, also on the line with us is Mitra McClarney, one of the other chief residents, and uh, Dr. Len Rao, our program director. Um, so we wanna thank uh, Pima and our scholars for this opportunity, and Mitra's gonna pull up our slides. Can you guys see the screen? Yep, you're good. Great, thank you. All right. So a little bit about our program to start. Uh, I'll go to the next slide. Uh, so we are, are a 24 resident program. So we have six uh, residents in each advanced class. So six PGY4s, PGY3s, and PGY2s. We also have four categorical spots. So four people who do intern year here at Penn, and we, are, and we take two advanced uh, PGYs who will join the class as PGY2s. Um, so that's our us. Next, we're gonna talk a little bit about our rotation sites, and then we'll hop into more about the rotations broken up by year. So we rotate at a variety of different uh, locations at Penn. We have an opportunity to get lots of diverse experiences. Our primary site of rotation is the Penn Institute for Rehab Medicine, aka the PERM. Um, this is a standalone rehab hospital. We have 58 rehab beds that are CARF accredited. We also have um, 18 dedicated TBI beds in a locked TBI unit, so we get lots of good exposure there in inpatient management. Also here we have a variety of our outpatient clinics. Our neuro rehab is here, our amputee, our sports and interventional spine are here, and a lot of our general rehab clinics are here as well. As interns, we spend some time at the Philadelphia VA on our general surgery rotation. Uh, we also spend time as PGY2s on the inpatient rehab unit at the VA, which is a unique population to take care of. And we have a very robust outpatient rotation uh, at the VA where we get to do a lot of Botox, lots of EMGs. Um, we have an attending who is a DO chiropractor who does lots of manipulations and gets to involved with dry needling. Um, so very robust experience. Um, and polytrauma too is another big area. We also get the opportunity to rotate at Pennsylvania Hospital, which is actually the nation's oldest hospital, which is uh, really cool because it's literally a beautiful place. Uh, we get to spend time here as PGY1s, rotating on internal medicine and in the ICU. And then as PGY2s, we spend time here doing consults. And as twos, threes, and fours, we also do some outpatient general PMNR clinic here. The next slide is the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, or CHOP, which is one of the consistently ranked one of the top uh, pediatric hospitals in the nation. Specifically, we rotate in the Seashore House, which is in the inpatient rehab unit. We spend a month doing inpatient pediatric PM&R as the primary team. And we also spend a month doing outpatient pediatric clinic where we see lots of um, spasticity management, uh, lots of PNO and uh, orthotics. Um, and we also see multidisciplinary clinics. So we rotate in the CP clinic, they have a muscular dystrophy clinic and lots of unique things that you read about in the textbooks. So it's a pretty unique experience. Uh, the next site we rotate as is the Penn Presbyterian Medical Center, which is uh, Penn's main level one trauma and the main trauma center in West Philadelphia. As PGY1s, we do family medicine here and neurology. And then as PGY3s, we rotate here on a consult service and on this service, Understandably, we see most of our trauma. So we see our TBIs, our traumatic spinal cords, and we see lots of amputees here. And this is a great rotation. We do a lot of recommendations that you know, aren't just disposition for rehab. It's a lot of management, agitation management, um, getting involved really with SCI management, bowel and bladder, things like that. So it's a pretty great rotation. Uh, the next site is the main hospital of the University of Pennsylvania. Uh, which is also consistently ranked one of the top hospitals um, in the nation. This is the major tertiary hospital referral center for the mid-Atlantic region. We spend time here as PGY1s on a neurosurgery rotation. And as PGY3s, we do consults here. And this is where we see our medically complex. Um, so at Penn, they take uh, very complex people. We see lots of unique things. Um, we see lots of transplants, uh, LVADs. Um, we have lots of exposure to cancer and think about cancer rehab here, as well as non-traumatic uh, spinal cord injuries. The next site uh, that we also rotate is the Good Shepherd Rehab Pen Partners in Allentown, which is about an hour outside of Philadelphia. We rotate here as PGY3s and PGY4s. Um, during this time frame, we have housing, uh, 
both the PGY3 and the PGY4 have their own dedicated house and we get free meals, which is pretty great. Uh, as PGY3s, we do inpatient rehab and we get a high volume of uh, spinal cord injury here. It's a different patient population. It's much more uh, of a rural population. So we see farm injuries, um, lots of falls, and they also take vented uh, spinal cords here. So we get good exposure there. And as outpatients, or excuse me, as PGY4s, we do outpatient and we get a pretty robust general PMNR uh, exposure. We get lots of back within management, uh, Botox. Uh, there's also a pretty robust PO clinic with Dr. Daly. Um, and then in addition to the other sites we mentioned, these are some of our outpatient sites. So the Perlman Center for Advanced Medicine is one of Penn's major uh, outpatient centers. We do a cancer rehab clinic here. Uh, one of our TBI attendings recently started uh, rotating in a multidisciplinary pulmonology clinic where we see uh, people, adults with muscular dystrophies and make rehab recs. Um, the top right here is uh, Penfield and Waitman Hall where we do our sports rotations and we see collegiate level athletes. Uh, in, in sports clinic. And then 3737 is another uh, large building attached to an ortho office where we do lots of our general rehab, lots of EMGs for ortho. And now to break up our rotations uh, by PG1 year or PG year. So as PGY1s, we have a pretty diverse and robust experience. Um, you can kind of read here, but it's a month to month rotation. So you do time in general surgery, neurosurgery, family medicine, three months of IM, a month of ICU, one month of neuro, one month of peds, one month of PM&R, and two months of one month dedicated elective. So two different elective blocks. So it's a pretty diverse uh, PGY one year. It gets you lots of early exposure to the patients we care for as PM&R residents. So it's a really uh, unique experience. Um, it's also great because you're, when you do your PGY1 here, you're here, you're still very much part of our program. So every month we have a meeting with uh, Dr. Lenra, our program director, the two chief residents and all the interns come. It's protected the time. They have lunch with us and we just check in and chat and see how they're doing. So very much still part of our program. As PGY2s, uh, we rotate at uh, the Children's Hospital of uh, Pennsylvania and we do PEDS. We do a month of inpatient rehab and a month of dedicated outpatient pediatric rehab. We do inpatient rehab uh, on the medically complex and MSK service. So we see this is where we take care of our BADS, our transplants, our polytraumas. Uh, we do two months of stroke and amputee inpatient rehab with our program director, Dr. Lenro. Uh, this is where we see lots of pre prosthetic and uh, prosthetic trainees. And we do two months of spinal cord injury medicine inpatient uh, with Dr. Abramoff where we learn a lot, see a good volume of SCI and good experience. And then we do two months of inpatient at the VA Medical Center. Um, so it's also a very different patient population taking care of our veterans. Um, and you're gonna see some unique things and it's just nice taking care of them. And then additionally, um, you get two months in which you do half of your time is at Pennsylvania Hospital doing consults. And the other half of your day is um, in outpatient clinics, general rehab. So you get exposure to EMGs um, and general PM&R early on. And a unique experience that has uh, developed uh, here at Penn is that PM&R here, where our department's actually spearheading the COVID recovered uh, uh, clinic. So we take lots of COVID recovered patients on our inpatient rehab unit, um, people that have, you know, been very debilitated by this illness. And then we also started seeing patients um, in outpatient uh, to try and address rehab needs and detect other needs they may have uh, as they recover from COVID at home. All right, as PGY3s, this is really our bridge year where we build on you know, all the inpatient stuff we learned as twos and start transitioning more to outpatient. So we spend a couple months of TBI uh, inpatient here at Firm. We do two months of the general rehab SDI inpatient in Allentown. We do two months of consults at University of Pennsylvania, so that's our medically complex services. Two months uh, in which we're half the time at Penn Presbyterian doing our trauma consults, and the other half of the day we're in outpatient PMNR clinics. Two months at the VA doing our outpatient general PMNR clinics. You get one month of elective of your choice, and you also get one month outpatient clinic um, at PERM that's more of a general PMNR and getting some exposure to spine um, and general PMNR. And then as PGY4s, we do one month of inpatient rehab, and then we do five one-month blocks of dedicated um, sort of subspecialties in PMNR. So we do one month of interventional spine where we get spend time with our uh, interventionalists. Uh, we have time in the fluoro suite. We spend time uh, doing one month of cancer pain rotation. 
we do one month of sports medicine, one month of neuro rehab where we get lots of uh, baclofen, pump refills, and Botox ex experience, and then one month of general PNR. We also do two dedicated one month blocks of EMGs. And during this time frame, we get to work with our chairman, Dr. Dillingham, who's done lots of research on EMGs, and it's really a great experience. You do two months of outpatient rehab at Allentown, and you also get two one-month blocks of electives. And just to say a brief little bit about our electives, here at Penn, we're really supportive of our departments. Uh, it's great. It's really supportive of us. It's basically open to whatever you want to do, as long as it's educational. So some of our past experiences, um, we have residents who do a month of MSK radiology, a month of pain, a month of sports. But people also do wound care. Uh, other residents spend time with a the therapy team, so they'll spend time doing half day of PT, half day of OT. People interested in neuro rehab might do a half a day of speech, half a day with uh, neuropsych. So really it's open to uh, your creativity, which is great. Um, and next I'm just gonna mention our call briefly. Um, so we do take in-house call at our uh, rehab hospital with a post-call day afterwards. We do that as PGY2s to fours. Our call is more front-loaded. So PGY2s take the most calls and cover all the holidays. But this is better as you become more senior um, because your calls lessen every year. And as PGY4s, we basically take, uh, we average one call a month and they're typically on Thursdays. So we get three-day weekends, which is pretty, pretty great. Um, and then as PGY2s and threes, we also take home call at the VA, which is also a pretty good experience. Um, it's usually pretty quiet. So it's pretty nice. And next I'm gonna turn over to my co-resident, uh, Mitra McClarney. Thanks, Frank. Um, so now we'll just talk a little bit about our education here at Penn. Um, so we have didactics every Wednesday. It's protected time um, from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Um, during that time, the main primary contact is the attendings. We also have a nurse practitioner who also helps as contact um, during that time. So it really allows for the residents to focus on their education. Um, right now we're doing all of our didactics virtually, um, but we haven't really been able, had any issues with um, having lectures come in. It actually has helped facilitate a lot of lectures come in from different departments. Um, we have a three-tiered approach to our didactics. So we talk about a lot of things when um, topics are presented not only by attendings, but they're also presented by senior residents. Um, and we focus on it, other cutting edge issues with regards to research and clinical thinking. We do normally have lunch provided, as you can see in this picture from one of our previous didactic sessions, but obviously with COVID and things being virtual, um, that's kind of on hold at this time. So this is a schedule of um, just what our past month looks like uh, for our musculoskeletal medicine module. It might be a little small on your screen, but um, it just kind of shows the uh, diversity in lectures that we have um, and the diversity in speakers that come in. We also have therapists come speak to us as well um, and really just try to get a whole well-rounded uh, view of PM&R and um, of everything. We also have monthly resident grand rounds and journal clubs um, each uh, month as well too with faculty mentors. Uh, evening events that we hold. So we actually have an ultrasound course that we've started monthly um, that's uh, headed right now by Dr. Golnikov, one of our sports and spine attendings. Um, and we meet from six to seven and we just um, practice ultrasounding. We have uh, lecture, or lecture material and reading material prior to the course. And we just come um, and have a fun time kind of hanging out in small groups right now with COVID. Um, just practicing ultrasound. We're also using the hollow lens um, to kind of be, have the opportunity to look at anatomy virtually um, while also doing the ultrasound. So you can kind of see in this picture, one of our residents, Megan's wearing the hollow lens as she's ultrasounding Frank. Um, and then usually we have the cadaver dissection anatomy um, part of our curriculum. And that usually runs from June to July, but with COVID we weren't able to do that this year. Um, but that's usually something that we do do as a program. And then we have EMG nights, where, which is also a practice night um, at night where we all kind of meet and work on uh, EMGs on each other. One of the awesome things about Philadelphia is um, the three, that we have three large um, pm &R programs within the city. So we have a lot of opportunity to uh, collaborate between programs. Um, and so we have these citywide departmental events that occur. So um, in December, the Temple uh, Moss program does a gait and orthotics course. 
in January and February, um, Jefferson, the McGee program does an EMG course. And then in uh, February, we have a, just a Saturday ultrasound MSK course. Um, and then we also, five minutes. Thank you. Um, we also have a prosthetics course um, that we do. So it's, we have um, participation from all the programs at all these events. And it's a really nice, um, unique feature of being in Philadelphia and being such a, at a place that's such a big PM&R um, city. So just in terms of education funds, we have a yearly education stipend. Um, our board review course, uh, we have fully funded five day course. Um, and then we also have funding that we get for presenting research at national conferences and annual enrollment um, in AAP and AAP m &R Academy is paid for as well through our department. One of the awesome things too about Penn um, that I really thought was amazing when I was applying um, is that we have a lot of interdepartmental opportunities with other residents from other programs. So one of the tracks um, actually that's listed up on the top is this healthcare leadership and quality track, which is a program that is really unique to Penn. It um, takes residents from different departments and we focus on quality improvement methodologies um, and just leadership training. And our department really supports having a resident participate in it. We usually have one resident participate per class um, and it's a really unique opportunity to meet people from different departments and um, think about those sort of things as we move forward in, in a healthcare system that's focused on quality improvement. Uh, we also have residents that have participated in the past on the house staff committee, and then we always have a resident also participating on the patient safety collaborative, which is also an interdepartmental group. Research, um, the curriculum is built into didactics. Um, we have support from statistician, and we also have research funds that residents can apply for to um, uh, have just some seed money to try to start their projects. One of the other awesome things about Penn is the sports coverage that we have. So we have a lot of faculties um, that uh, are medical directors for different sports teams um, and sport, sporting events. So these are just some of the things that we've um, covered before in the past. And then just briefly, um, so just Philly is awesome. There's a lot of um, a lot of history and a lot of beautiful architecture in the city. And of course, there's cheesesteaks, which everyone can only think of when they come to Philly. Um, and then we have awesome sporting teams as well, too. Um, and then just social events. We're a pretty social group of people. We really like to hang out with each other. These are pictures just from the past year of going to sporting events, um, as well as just kind of hanging out, ax throwing, and just hanging out in the backyard. Um, but things that we used to, we like to do with each other. And then we have a pm &R softball team. We weren't able to play, unfortunately, this year. Um, but it's a great way for everyone to bond and we play at the Penn Fields, which is awesome. And then just briefly, um, where our residents go. So these are for the last couple of years. Um, you can kind of see we pretty much have an even amount of residents that go into general practice um, and fellowship. And we already yes, have two minutes. Thank you. And we already have one of our uh, one of our co-residents from our year just matched sports and spine here at Penn. So we'll be staying on. Um, but we tend to have uh, residents going to almost every sort of uh, fellowship. And that also just leads me into all the fellowship opportunities that are here at Penn. Um, so we have all of the ones listed. We just started a cancer rehab fellowship this year with our first fellow. And then we're going to, um, through our collaboration with at CHOP, um, where we rotate, they are starting a PEDS rehab fellowship for next year. Um, and then we have traumatic brain injury and sports medicine. So I'm going to thank you so much, PMR scholars, and hopefully we can address a couple questions before it's too late. Yeah, so you guys have a couple of questions uh, coming in. Um, I'll be fast with them. One is, I uh, was just wondering if you could comment on living in uh, Philly and commuting between different sites. Yeah, so I think living in Philly is great in general, like Mitra alluded to. There's always something to do. There's lots of great restaurants, very underrated food city. Um, there's sporting events. It's easy to get outdoors. There's a large park called Wissahickon that's close. Um, lots of things in Pennsylvania in general. And then in terms of commuting, our main rehab hospital is in like one of the most fun areas um, in like Rittenhouse, like graduate hospital area. Um, 
where I live is a 10 minute walk. I bike to all the other sites and it doesn't take me more than 20 minutes biking to get anywhere, probably 15 at the tops. Um, Public transportation is so, great. Really. Okay. So that takes you guys to 20 minutes. You do have a, a couple of questions in the chat. If you wanna uh, hang on and answer them, uh, by all means, feel free to. Um, I wanna thank you guys for joining uh, tonight. That was a, a great job. Um, so thank you so much for your time.